Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add settings to the context menu in Windows 10. So if you right click somewhere on your desktop, you see you have context menu options. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add something that would also say settings. So if you right click on your desktop, there should be a settings option here. Pretty interesting idea here. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So First things first, I'm going to have a link in the description of my video to a paste bin file. So since I can't actually fit it in the description of my video, I'm going to have a link to it and you just copy the text on that web page. Just be a normal text file and you want to open up a notepad file on your computer. So just type in notepad into the start menu. We're going to go ahead and open it up like you would any normal notepad file here. You want to go ahead and just paste it in. So if you scroll up to the top, it should say Windows Registry Editor version 5.0 and it should end with the holographic with a little end parenthesis in here. You want to left click on the file, tap on the top left, left click on Save As. You want to make sure Save As Type, you want to click inside the drop down, select All Files, and then for File Name, you can type in whatever you want, but you want to end it in a .reg. So Let's just call it settings to context menu dot reg. So again, dot reg at the end. I'm going to save it to my desktop here just so we can see it. Left click on save. You can close out of the notepad file this time. Whatever you named on your desktop, you want to go ahead and double click on it. If you get a user account control prompt, left click on yes. You want to go ahead and left click on yes again should say it has been successfully added to the registry. Click on OK. And now if we right click on our desktop, you can see we now have a settings option. So you have all these different options. Now you can go ahead and easily access right from your desktop. So pretty cool feature there, guys. Now you can also delete the file on your desktop. You don't need it anymore, so I'm just going to recycle it. And you can still access the settings option once you've deleted it from the desktop, so it's no issue. Pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.